Welcome back. Google releasing a new family of open source models today that it says can run on a single chip, a GPU or Google's custom AI chip called the TPU. Dear Tabosa has more in today's Tech Check. D, interesting development here. Hey, Leslie, good morning. Yeah, this is really Google's answer to DeepSeek's breakthrough and flexing its custom chip advantage on the way. Now, this chart the company put out with the announcement, it shows that Gemma 3 can be run on a single NVIDIA H100 versus the equivalent of 34 of them needed to run DeepSeek's R1 reasoning model, 16 for Meta's Llama 3. Now, this really underscores Google's efficiency edge, making advanced models more accessible and cost-effective for enterprises, an edge that is actually pretty well known to those that follow Google closely, but a fact that is often overlooked by the market. Now, the other piece of this announcement, it highlights Google's custom chip advantage and a potential growing threat to NVIDIA's dominance as the AI race shifts to an inference versus a training phase. Hyperscalers, we know they are developing their own in-house AI chips to bring down costs and reduce their reliance on NVIDIA. It's notable in this Gemma release that Google says its TPUs, its custom in-house chips, can achieve what GPUs can. And the worst kept secret in tech is that Anthropic widely uses Google Cloud and thus their TPUs for the majority of their inference. Amazon, too, has been making inroads for its Tranium chips through its own investment in Anthropic. This week, Meta began testing its first in-house AI chip. And, of course, OpenAI has big ambitions here. It is pouring resources into developing its own as well. Startups are also gaining traction. Cerebrus's specialized AI chips, they're powering Perplexity's Sonar model and Mistral's chatbot. All of this raising questions over NVIDIA's dominance in this next phase and questions over its margins, which is really amazing for a hardware company, if other options are finding more efficiency and able to offer sort of better efficiency, lower costs. Now, NVIDIA, of course, you'll hear this often, it is an ecosystem. And Jensen Huang says its chips are just as powerful for inference as they are for training, but the economics are shifting. And even as spending from the mega caps remains elevated, Project Stargate promises hundreds of billions of dollars in data center spending, NVIDIA's share price is telling us a different story. It's certainly rebounding today up nearly 6%, but it's down 15% on the year. Next week's GTC, guys, that will be crucial to the narrative. And, you know, one of the number one questions on people's minds is, you know, how they compete in this inference phase where there's a lot more competition.